Hi witches! So today we're going to chat about something that is really really important to my personal practice but also good for like life overall. I think a lot of witches feel this way so I wanted to touch on that and that is sustainability and like acts of sustainability. Now not all of the things that I'm going to mention today are absolutely or by any means necessary to do in order to like be a witch, like that's not a thing. Um, but as an earth-based practitioner, here are just some things that I have done in my life um, to, you know, honor the earth as um, and show my devotion to healing the planet, basically. So the first topic I wanted to talk about is sustainable shopping. Now, I am a fashion designer by trade, that's what I went to school for, um, and the fast fashion industry is really just like not great. Like there are really horrible environmental practices and also like slave labor. So if you can try to avoid it, I mean, I, I do my best to cut it out. There have definitely been impulse buys at like large retailers that like, um, not proud of, but if you can try to shop secondhand or shop small, like for, from local businesses, small designer. Speaking from personal experience, it feels so good, especially when you're a small designer, to have someone purchase something from you. It just, it's, it's amazing. So in, ad in addition to shopping small and shopping secondhand, I really recommend just like saving up for a more expensive version, I guess, of the product that you're going out to buy. So for example, um, spending a little bit more money on a nicer pair of shoes that's gonna last you like way more time um, and are a little bit more durable than perhaps the less expensive pair of shoes that you can you can buy just like right right away. So um, because generally speaking, the the less expensive ones you're probably going to throw away in three months anyways and have to repurchase. Therefore, you're spending more money. So pro tip. Um, the next thing is adopting a plant-based diet. Um, if you're interested in making the switch to a plant-based diet, I, it can be a really great devotional practice as a way to honor the planet. Um, Having even just one vegetarian meal a week is a great start. I really, I'm not a big meat eater as it is, um, but I have cut back even further. I was like, I tried veganism for a while and that really didn't like jive with me. I was a vegetarian for like 12 years and then I like lived in Europe and that was really difficult for me to do. So I kind of was just like, whatever. Um, and then I have slowly been like getting back to like plant-based um, eating as it is. And I plan to go fully back to vegetarianism in the near future. So. Yes. That being said, I understand that this is not a reality for everybody and it is, it can be really difficult. You may not be able to make the switch when you want to, but like I said, incorporating a, like maybe just one vegetarian meal per week is a great way to start. And no matter what you're doing, if you're making a change, um, it's it's awesome and I support you, yay. Um, next point I wanted to touch on is growing a garden. Growing your own food or having plants around your home is a great way to bring earth magic to your space. Um, it's a great way to take care of the land that you are on and make it a more fertile and like beautiful place. Um, keeping your land clean if you have like a yard, um, free of trash, making sure that like, you know, your plants are being taken care of is amazing and I really support it. And I think it's like, it's great exercise, it's great for your mental health. It's just, it's nice, like it looks pretty. So um, yeah, it's definitely something that I recommend as a witch. The next thing that I recommend is supporting local farmers. Um, so eating locally, uh, locally sourced produce, and even like if you are not a vegetarian or anything, locally sourced um, meats from like smaller um, vendors is actually a really great, uh, great way to support your community and like locality. So I really recommend that. And it's, it's definitely, I, I feel like when you are buying from smaller farmers, you aren't really feeding into like that, like that, the food industry. Um, If you can, you know, it's farmer's market season, so you can go with your newly thrifted dress to the farmer's market, take some cute pics, put them on Instagram or whatever you want to do. Um, but going to farmer's markets has always been really fun for me, and the food is just better. I don't know. Maybe that's like a like a placebo effect kind of thing, but I really feel like there is a difference between going to a smaller market versus going to like the grocery store. So if you can go to farmer's markets, I really recommend it. It's it's a lot of fun if you if you haven't been to one. This should be on everyone's to-do list, of course, but doing your part to recycle and reuse things is a great way to start helping the environment. Um, I, I think we've had that drilled into our heads from a very young age. But if I didn't mention it, then I, I just feel like this video wouldn't really be complete. So yes, recycling is super great. Um, if you are like me and hoard jars, jars are a great way to um, take something that you use in your practical life and make a spell jar or use it to like hold herbs or anything like that um, in your witchy practice. 
Okay, and the final thing I wanted to touch on is tidying up our environment. Whenever you are out exploring Mother Nature, be sure to kind of cast your eye around um, and pick up any trash, especially near trails um, or bodies of water like streams and creeks and stuff. Just picking that up and making sure, like leaving the environment a little bit cleaner than when you left it is just a really great um, devotional act to the earth, I think. Um, and if you're doing any ritual work outside, please be sure to leave the area trash free. That kind of negates the purpose of doing magic and like taking care of the earth anyways, if we're just going to leave stuff on the ground. So, um, yeah, just be sure to, um, be responsible when you are practicing outside. And if you happen to see trash, I always try to bring something like, like a pair of gloves or whatever with me to like pick it up and throw it away. So, Yes, obviously doing all of this as an individual is fine and dandy, um, is, it, but it's not gonna necessarily save the planet. Like if you don't recycle something, the world isn't gonna end. Large corporations of the world should be held responsible for what they're doing to our environment, 100%. Um, and like, it's just, it's really disgusting. But anyways, this is how I have personally implemented some changes in my life and in my craft. I hope this didn't come off as too preachy. Obviously, I know we are all doing our part and I feel like the people who are watching this are not the people that I need to tell this to, but I do want to talk, I did just want to touch on it. Um, because doing mundane things like that, like mundane, is honestly a really great way to be like openly practicing without like people really knowing about it. Again, like for my witches who are not necessarily able to practice openly, um, you know, just making small, changes can affect a bigger change in the world around you. Um, but again, again, I hope this didn't sound too preachy. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.